Hi everyone, I've just completed week one of CS50's Intro to Game Development course where we were looking at the game Flappy Bird. So the assignment for this week uh, was to incorporate a few things into the game, one being a random interval for the pipes to spawn, and then a random gap height between the upper and lower pipes, um, and then to display a medal on the score screen based on the player's score, and then to add a pause and resume feature to the game. So I'm going to show you my implementation. I started off uh, with the randomized gap height. So in the pipe pair.lua file, I just added this math.random uh, and I put in some uh, lower limits and upper limits, which I've defined uh, at the top of the file here. The second part was uh, the random spawning uh, intervals. So that's done in the play state file uh, where I just add a math.random uh, replacing the hard-coded value that was there before. And here's where I implemented the medals uh, showing up in the score screen. So the medals are based on the player's score. So if you get a score of less than five, you get a bronze medal. Between five and 10 is silver, and uh, anything above that is the gold medal. So I made these assets myself in GIMP, and it's the first time um, I'm doing pixel art, so still uh, a bit of a learning curve there, but I thought it'd be fun to try and make them myself. Um, and then lastly, implementing the pause feature. Uh, so I set a local variable at the top of main.lua, and I set it to false, this local variable called paused. Um, and then what I did was in the main update function here, uh, I just added this condition if it's not paused. Uh, so basically if paused is false, then run these uh, background scrolling and the ground scrolling and this update function. So that's kind of the, the main gameplay loop, right? So it's only gonna run when paused is false. And then when P is pressed, which is what I used for pause, uh, then I set paused to true, which of course stops this loop here from, uh, from running. I pause the music and then I play my sound effect uh, for pause. Uh, and I also made the sound effects in GarageBand. Uh, it was pretty fun too. You'll hear them in a second. Uh, and then for resuming the game, when enter is pressed uh, or return, then I start the music again and I play my resume sound effect. And then I set this paused to false so that this main gameplay loop will uh, begin again. So, Let's uh, let's play the game and see how it works. Okay, so that's the bronze medal. show you the pause feature too. So there's the game paused, the music stops, and then press enter to resume. Okay, let's go. Let's get the goal. So there's the gold medal. All right, I think that's it. Uh, I really need to get better at playing video games, I think, if I want to make video games, but, you know. That's it, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and if you have any suggestions or feedback, especially based on how I implemented the pause feature, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, I'd love to see some different approaches. All right, thanks, bye.